I still cannot quite get my head around the fact we are going to Walt Disney World today. The verdict. Drum roll, please. <laughs> It is travel day to Walt Disney World, Florida. We are flying from Heathrow with Virgin Atlantic over to Walt Disney World for seven magical nights in the Caribbean Beach Resort before boarding the Disney Wish. And it is so exciting. Can you even believe it's travel day, girls? <laughs> no. Yay! It's still reasonably early in the morning. Some people might be trying to sleep. We are here in the Premier Inn, Heathrow, Terminal 2 and 3. We've not stayed at this one before and it's really nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We had a nice meal last night. We're about to go down for breakfast. We have put on, this is a little bit of a, a trick I do, only if we're eating breakfast in the same hotel and then leaving somewhere like we are now so I wouldn't do this for like a day in the parks obviously but if we're just nipping down for breakfast we've got yesterday's t-shirts on because baked beans there's no point in putting nice clean clothes on because baked beans so if we've not met before hi I am Ree from mummyofour.com hello welcome to the channel and the vlog and this vlog series make sure you're subscribed with bell notifications on because there will be new episodes of this vlog series every Sunday at 8 a.m. my eldest is not with us of my four children my other son William is in the other room with my husband because these rooms in the Premier Inn don't sleep five people this is little Zaza oh, Zara is your real name and this is my Bells Bella Actually, your name's Isabella, but no one ever calls you that, do they? Yeah. yeah. No one ever calls her that. Okay, should we go find the boys, go and get some breakfast, and then we're <laughs> going to Disney. Yeah. <laughs> I did ask you to back in the last vlog, didn't I, about how well everyone was going to sleep. We had a little bit of trouble, didn't we, falling asleep? And then they slept really, really well. Then we had a little bit more trouble about 4am, till it was time to get up. But never mind, we won't talk about that, we'll just pretend we're not super tired. And look who has arrived! It's William, Wikipedia, well done. <laughs> Yesterday's t shirt. Yeah. Because big beans. And Daddy of Four, are you planning on slopping beans on yourself? We opted for a clean t shirt. I, I even clean my teeth in my t shirt, aren't I? Yeah. That he, was a he risky likes little the game. Risk like every risk. day. He's told that me. The risk factor. was very risky. Okay, so get your shoes you? on, mm. get your ears on. It's time to go downstairs. What happened at 4 a.m.? Everyone got a bit excited and couldn't go back to sleep. Couldn't oh slash dear. Wouldn't. Right, let's get some food and then we'll get on the plane. the room and changed out of bean stained clothes into outfits of the day so i have got a yoga kind of a sports bra top on underneath my primark princess t-shirt and some leggings we're all wearing sketches the girls have got disneyland paris t-shirts with the spirit jerseys that we had in disneyland paris in fact all three children and myself have those. Daddy Ford didn't want one for some reason. Mm -hmm. He's got a great spirit jersey. So we're gonna be super comfy for the flight. So now Will and my husband have gone back in the other room and the girls are doing some of their magical trip activities and memories for kids. We keep calling them the kids planners. Perhaps that's what we should call them because they have got planning pages in them. But yeah. they're more about activities than planning, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Although you lot still have some plans for some stuff you um, wanna I'm do. gonna show you what I did so there far. There we go. So I wrote the first page the first page there so we you go. have to like fill in like bella's seven done. night magical trip to walt disney world and the date which was yesterday's date that we um, left I'm, I'm just... <laughs> so this is supposed to be a countdown to disney but they only i only gave the kids their planners yesterday so yeah. rather than filling in like coloring in every day why don't you just do just like a color by number thing so they're just making patterns out of it so they've got to color in every square but you know wait in a fun pattern what about the clouds Oh, yeah, I don't know about the clouds. I don't know. I don't know about those. I Colour them in grey. Yeah. There we go. 
So then we've got a space front. My name is Bella and I am nine years old. So you've got to draw a picture there. There we go. So you've done your, your name is Zara and you're six years old. You need to draw a picture. There's a few pages you haven't filled in yet, but a lot of this you can do on the plane. We're traveling yeah. from where we're going for picture of people you're traveling with. Zara has filled in the thing she needed to take. So she's got <coughs> bunny, iPad, my bottle, and she's drawn them in the suitcase. So that's very cool. Characters you're hoping to meet. Attractions you're hoping to write shows you're hoping to see. You haven't filled that in yet. Yeah. Snacks you're hoping to eat. So let's see what we've got here. We've got the paint something cookie. cookie. Oh yeah, this oh, one. There we go. I did that one. There you go. Bella's written that out too. And drew a picture of it. You want a cake pop, candy popcorn, the Mickey flump. I think that was in Disneyland Paris, that was but we'll the see. Figment smoothie oh, step. sorry. Figment smoothie. Excellent. And rainbow cake because of course it's Festival of the Arts in Epcot while we're there. So there's all the amazing Festival of the Arts treats. So I'm at the airport. We're not at the airport yet. So yeah. we'll have a look at that later in the um, we're trip. Gonna, I'm going to do all this on the plane because yeah. it's um, where you're sitting. Draw the other half of the plane it says on this page. That, that's cool. And on this page it says, what have you eaten on the plane? Ah, so and we then don't you know what you eat on the plane. And there's also find the ice cream. No, Zara's not yet designed a t-shirt, but she has designed some really wonderful ears and a really cool ice cream. That looks a bit like the, the Rapunzel cone that you're hoping to have, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you think? There is a Rapunzel cone that we're going to go and seek out. And then design your own magical parks bag. Look at that beautiful design. That's gorgeous. Well done, Zara. Um, then they have got very similar, if you've seen the magical... Um, parks planners before. These are the pages the children actually used in my adult planner, which is what they want to do, like bucket lists and things, and then the magical memories for the day. So I left those in. Now the things you are going to have to do on the plane, girls, because we're not going to have much time in the parks, is draw the pictures of the characters you're hoping to meet so that they can sign them when we meet them. So we're I'm hoping, hoping to meet Piglet in Crystal Palace again. Yes, that would be cool. But sort of day by day, Magic Kingdom, yeah. I think Pooh Bear and Tigger you want to meet. Oh, and Mirabelle's yeah. in Magic Kingdom now. So you're going to have to yeah. draw Mirabelle. Yeah. Um, for Epcot Day, you're going to have to draw Figment and Asha. That'll be can cool. We, do we have to draw them in order? Though? Oh, no, they don't have to be in order because if we, we might not necessarily meet them in order. They're just yeah. any order and then you just find the right page. But I think it's quite a nice interaction for the character because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sometimes it's hard to know what to say to characters, isn't it? And you can be like, yeah. hey, I drew this picture of you. And obviously it'll give you something to do on the plane. If your kids aren't into drawing, you could just take a photo and cut it out and stick it there when you get back from your trip. That's an option too. All the cases are in the other room with Will and my husband. I've got the cases in here that have been opened out. So I need to tidy up all the bits from this room. It's 10 past nine now, but got a taxi book. I think it's for 11. Yeah. I, can't, I still cannot quite get my head around the fact we are going to Walt Disney World today. Today, uh -huh. today, today, today. And today. we're not gonna make today. this mistake again. I'm um, just saying we need to pick up a resort mug. Yes. So last time we didn't get a resort mug. Um, we did okay. have to purchase them, so it would have been an option, yeah. a decision. This time they're included in our Disney dining plan. Woo! Woo! The Disney Woo. dining plan literally came back a few days ago. So we're going to be one of the first families to, to get it back. The Disney dining plan was not available when we went in 2022. And... It's back. It's back. We've got the table service dining plan. So we've got a table service meal every day, each including a drink, a quick service meal each including a drink, a snack, and the resort mug, which you just get once and that's refillable at all the resorts. Mm -hmm. So, so exciting. And also, Magic Band Plus is a thing now. Yeah. So we are going to be on the lookout for Magic Band Plus. So it's going to be a debate. Do we get them? in the Caribbean Beach Resort, where I'm assuming they'll have some, but they won't have a massive selection, because yeah. in Art of Animation, they didn't do Magic Band Plus, but they have Magic Bands, didn't they? Yeah. Not a massive selection, but then when you get into the parks, there's loads, but the Magic Band Plus, you've got to charge, potentially, yeah, so. Yeah, because they have to light up. So you're on the lookout for a bell one, are you, Belle? Uh-huh. And Zara's on the lookout for Cinderella, or anything lilac. Yeah. William's on the lookout for something Star um, Wars or Marvel. Place your bets in the comments what colour resort mugs we're going to have. I think the options are pink, that I've seen. Pink, pink turquoise, orange, orange yeah. and green. And, and blue. Oh, yeah. I thought there was blue. Where's that blue? Turquoise is blue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I oh, green and turquoise, right. Yeah. Which I want. You know which one you want. Okay, should we wait till they've guessed in the comments? Oh. Yeah. I'll come up later. Okay. It's nearly time for our taxi to the airport. Yay! Let's go. So we ended up booking a taxi using the phone over in reception and you said it was cheaper than when you checked Uber. What was the Uber quoting you? Uh, Uber was like 37 quid I think. 
taxi. And how much is this one? 34. Bear in mind, we have got five big cases, five small cases, five which people, was five little. little bits, which Uber didn't offer. No, when you've got cases, a lot of stuff. Five people, ten cases. It is a lot of stuff. Like six and eight people. But not it is a lot of case. stuff. Um, but apparently we are only ten minutes from the airport. Uh, I think our first job when we get there is to find special assistance. Children have got to their uh, lanyards on. We didn't even know about the special assistance actually last time we flew to Florida. We didn't discover it till the second time we flew to Paris. So we only ever used it in Bristol Airport. So we hopefully it will go nice and smoothly as well it's um, for anyone that needs extra assistance as it as it says actually in the name um through the airport and children no, struggle with queuing and these are the you just sent a text a different price 29 oh these Apparently, are, they've just had a text these are the, the lanyards these are the lanyards and why do you have that because um because of the queuing yeah you struggle with queuing a bit because of autism don't you so um fingers crossed the special assistance here will be as helpful as it was in bristol so we'll find them if there's a big queue for checking in the luggage, if not, we'll dump off most of the luggage as soon as possible. And then the priority is to just get through security so we can breathe and chill. I think everyone's just got their water bottles that need emptying out before we go through customs. I think I've already put my any liquids and things in clear pencil case things within the allowed sizes. What is it, Zaza? What oh, would you like to say? Guys on the camera. Guys on the camera. You know when you go to a holiday or yeah. a mania Disney yeah. trip? Yeah. Yeah, just the Disney trip. Okay. Keep it straight. I think it's time um, to go, so quick, quick. Okay. Uh, well, never mind. Never um, mind. No, tell me, but I think it might be time uh, to go. Quick. So, uh, um, <laughs> oh, do you ever um, wish your holiday away? Um, wish your holiday away when, when you're on the flight. I oh, do you mean you do you want it to hurry up so you can get there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's not wishing the holiday away. That's and just also, hoping you get there. Oh, right. Also, do you like the flights? Also, do you like the flights? Wow. We've got questions about the flights. We've had a lot more questions sent on the in. Flight. Well, while we're waiting the for the flight, we've got a lot of questions. If you watch the pre-travel day vlog, we answered a lot of questions that you guys sent in. I've got a lot more questions we haven't got through yet. We're going to answer when we get through security. We are through airport security. Went through the special assistance lines. We didn't have to queue to show our boarding passes. Then it all merged in the better I wasn't allowed to film to just one long queue where you go through, you know, empty the liquids out, all the other liquids in the little clear cases, it's all laptops out. I had to go through the scanner thingy, didn't I? Mummy had to put her arms in the air. And I wanted to stand by her. And then there was still something showing up on my shoulder and they thought maybe it was the lettering on my spirit jersey. And the children had lettering on their spirit jerseys, but and it didn't. it's time buzz. for a pussy. It, it, it's that time of day. It's the, the best, time for a pussy. The best pussies. So these are the pussies I was looking for in Marks and Spencer's yesterday. Luckily I had some in the case, but I couldn't find them. They went to speak to the special assistance desk this side because we've not yeah. used special assistance in Heathrow before. Um, and they said that unless we want help getting to the gate, and I said, well, the children are fine with walking, just not queuing. So they said, unless we want help going to the gate, we just make our own way to the gate. And then because the children have got their lanyards, then um, they wouldn't have to queue for anything. So as soon as the gate is released, they told us the gate was going to be released at 12, but apparently the gate's not being released till 25 to 2, according to what Williams saw on the board. So we're just chillaxing here. We're having some snacks. We're having chill. Zara was a bit worried about Bunny going through security, weren't you? Yeah, she was scared. There is nothing to worry about though. 
I've got to say, um, using my belt bag going through the airport has been really, really handy. So in here I've got our passport. I've got an air tag on it in case I was to put it down. Um, I've got my little camera that I've been using to, to film um, this thing so easy. So obviously it's like what I'm doing like the main talkie bit to use my slightly bigger camera. But this is so tiny, it's really great for taking loads of footage. And my phone, boarding passes and things. Very retro, we've got actual boarding passes that have been printed off, not just the ones on my phone. Would I like a Percy? Yeah. Bella's offering my Percy, I would. These are the kind, guys, if you watch the pre-travel day vlog, this, these are the kind I was looking for. These, they're like very busy. Mmm, yummy things. Mmm, oh, you can. Mmm. Oh, should we answer some questions? Yeah. Let me so, find the question. Let me finish this thing in my mouth. Lauren Makes Magic wants to know which ride is everyone most excited for? I'm going to guess you're going to say Guardians or Tron. That's my guess for you, but I don't know. Mm, probably Tron. Like, I watched the Tron Legacy movie recently. Mm -hmm. Quite good. Yeah, excited for Tron. Bella's mm -hmm. got a mouthful of Percy Pigs, so we'll come back to you. Oh, hi. Well, Which? do you know why? Actually, I got a yellow one. Okay. Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear's the ride. I watched Mummy's Vlogs. Yes. And I nearly happy teared when I watched it. Oh, you nearly happy teared when you watched Pooh Bear. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Pooh Bear's that I was excited for. I love Mickey and Minnie. I love the People Mover. I love all the like the really Disney-ish ones like Winnie the Pooh and Little Mermaid. But yeah, actually I'm really interested out of just sheer curiosity for Tron and Guardians because they're brand new. Bells? Well, I don't really have a specific ride I'm excited for. I'm excited for loads of them. For loads so. of them. Just a quick short list. Mine Train. Oh yeah, I forgot about Mine Train. We love that. Pooh Bear. Mm -hmm. The Little Mermaid. Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, loads then. Tron. Tron. Loads. Loads. Zara is too short for Tron because I believe you've got to be 122 centimetres to ride. But all the other rides, other than Rock and Roller, which is actually down during our trip, she's tall enough for now. Okay, Jules and her daughter Jess, who was apparently too shy to say hi in the Staycation Cruise vlogs. Oh, hi, Jess and Jules. What is our favourite park to coordinate outfits to? Right, that's um, an interesting. That is it. That's a good one, mm -hmm. isn't it? Magic Kingdom is my favourite park, I like but I really park. liked. Studios. Yeah, I was going to say that. So I really bounds. liked it when we did the the group Disney bound when Bella and Zara were Leia and Ray. <laughs> I'd like grown men going baby, baby, baby Leia and a baby Ray. <laughs> Because you you were very dinky, you were very dinky. So that was that was a fun group one. The Toy Story Disney Bounds are always fun, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's that's a good part. I think I, I'd probably agree. I'd probably say Hollywood Studios. Yeah. Any more Disney trips planned after this one, Sarah from Sarah from Eating with Amelia? Um, nothing booked at the moment. So it's going to be like full on Disney Blues when we get back and there's no Disney calendar. But we have got a placeholder booked on from our last Disney cruise. So. We'll be cruising again at some point, I'm just not exactly sure when. Um, we also really want to do California at some point. And obviously there's a lot more stuff opened up in Disneyland Paris since we were last there. So there's oh a lot yeah, of things we want to do, we just haven't booked it yet. We're Disneyland Paris for Frozen Land. According to Bella, I haven't booked it yet. I but too. Colleen and her daughter Holly, hello, want to know what age do you think is a good age for Walt Disney World? Children, I'm going to hand this one over to you. Um, I would say... It depends, so like... Five and up. Yeah. Good. See, Five. I'd say from Three and up I'd say get them young for any age. Any yeah, age you could, you're gonna love it. You could do any age, but um I would say like five, five they'd I think they'd remember it like the best. Yeah. And they'd like and be tall enough for some rides and well, stuff. Zara mm, was so it's like the average age. Mm, Zara was about three weeks off five last time we went there and she could do almost everything. In fact you were a very petite five uh, nearly five, weren't you? You were four. So I'd, I'd say four. You were a, a very vertically challenged four-year-old and thoroughly enjoyed it, didn't you? So I'd say any, t any age from there. But really the biggest um, indicator is height. So one of the main reasons we haven't bothered doing Universal is because there are a lot of height restriction rides that um, not all of them be able to do. So have a look and just watch the vlog series because I always put the heights on screen. Measure your children with the shoes on that they would be wearing in the parks. And that's the thing. It's really important to know how tall children are and how all they need to be to ride certain attractions. Oh, I think it would be better to take a baby that's like... A tiny baby. Yeah, a tiny baby. There's still loads of tiny then, babies you can do, like um, small world and everything. Yeah, then mm -hmm. a toddler. A toddler <laughs> would be more. Oh, yeah, well, we've got some questions about planes, and I've got to say, give me a newborn baby to take on a plane over a toddler. 
any day because a very you know that would that would be hard work okay in fact let's get to some about the planes right natty p and her daughter chloe want to know how do the kids find long haul how do you make it easier and also is it worth because i've had just a number of these questions for lots of different people and people want to know is it worth flying all the way to Florida when you could just fly for an hour to, to Paris? I know. Yes, it is. It's worth it. Florida is actually, I'd say, better than Paris. It is amazing, isn't it? Okay. And um, how... Yes, it is. Um, there are loads of reasons. Like, for example, the plane. We fly with EasyJet to, to Paris. You have to like pay for the food and stuff, and there's no TVs on the back it's of the screen. So it's like more that. all included feels in free, the thing. It feels free. Feels free. Yeah, I mean, the um, flights to Florida are £11 billion compared to the EasyJet flights to Paris, so there's obviously a lot more included. Uh, yeah. They do, you know, we are flying for the first time with Virgin. Last time we flew with British Airways, we found them great, so it would be really interested to compare Virgin. I've got to say, I think this flight's going to be easier. If we could manage the long-haul flight with the mask laws, no exemption for autism, all kids over the age of two had to wear a mask the whole time unless they're eating yeah. and drinking. If you can manage that, because that was tough going, wasn't it? Mm, that yeah. was tough. That was tough. Yeah. So this should be a doddle compared to that. The biggest thing I'd say for long haul flights, don't try and like travel, do a big travel on the way to the airport on the same day. So we traveled up yesterday, if you saw our pre-travel day vlog, um, and then we our flight is, you know, just after lunch flight. Our flight's actually rather irritatingly been moved till slightly later. When we booked this trip, the flight was supposed to be a couple of hours earlier and then getting in a couple of hours earlier and I was intending to try and dash the Magic Kingdom to see Happily Ever After. That's not going to happen now because the flight's been moved, but you know, it's just like an airline scheduling thing. But at least we can look around the resort. Yeah, we can look around the resort and, and everything. But yeah, definitely I'd say if you're flying long haul, um, so when we fly from Bristol it's only an hour, we tend to just get there in plenty of time and travel on the day. But flying long haul on top of travelling to the airport, so unless you literally live I don't know, within five half, minutes, yeah, five minutes, like within half an hour of the airport, stay somewhere the night before and just feel fresher. And then it's loads of activities. The children have got their activity books to do. They've got so, I've got so many snacks. If you watch my compact with me, I feel so many snacks. Obviously the snacks they provide on board, but lots to do. We've loaded your devices, lots to watch, lots of games, all the things. And then I've also, I tell you what, I've also done this time, um, which I did do last time, but I think not to the way back, which download the Time Shifter app, which tells you when to sleep and when to stay awake and when to have caffeine obviously when to children caffeine um but to, in order to adjust to the new time zone um so we'll try and stick that as best we can and i'll let you know how i feel and if i feel all right or jet lagged at all that's in a very long-winded way just kind of be prepared and don't try and squeeze anything in a last minute okay let's do another one for now shall we and then i'm gonna have to have some more percy pigs and we'll answer some more later we're wondering what's on the kids to do list in the parks i wonder what's different from last time now that they've been before so that's jay and their niece and nephew sophia and henry so what's on your to-do list and how does that differ has has the fact you've been before changed like what you um, want to do and your plans some of the rides are so. like a bit like, like for example want to do it again yeah also, other parks some of them were that. i was a little bit like like I could have done a ride I preferred. Okay, so so what? So what? Is, how is your to-do list change having been before? What? What's like on your? Nah, I'm gonna leave. Um, not that fast. Mm, I'm not sure. Like because it was such a long time ago, I can't <laughs> remember too well. But I think like the Muppets 3D was okay. It wasn't my favorite. Really like William really likes the Muppets. I'm like doing that. It's William's recently rewatched all the Muppets films, so we're gonna. Have to Sorry, Bells, we're gonna have to do Muppets. Yeah, it's fine. It's just not my favorite. Okay. Um, I do want to do Remy though. Last time okay. we didn't do it. We did. Zara, we Zara did found Remy that. a bit overwhelming oh, yeah, with the glasses on. I know. <laughs> Zara, find just if you, you find it okay if you don't wear the glasses, don't you? And I get it. It's a similar ride to Mickey and Minnie, but it's it's 3D glasses on. I think Mickey and Minnie's quite happy-go-lucky, whereas Remy's quite. It's like a chase. It's like you you are a rat. It's fantastic. But you're being chased. Yeah, and, then and I think she finds that a bit like. Ugh. And there's so, yeah. the part that I don't like. Yeah, mm. and then there are sudden like bottle squirts and it scares you. Makes yeah, you and a mop flips skin. water in your face and but stuff. It's a good it, I mean, it's yeah. fun. It's very well put together ride. I've, I've got to say, it's not my favourite ride either. I prefer mm. Mickey and Minnie personally. Mm. Yeah, Mickey and Minnie's a hundred percent way better. I agree. So which ones are you dashing back to? Oh, Frozen Ever After. Forgot about that one. Oh yeah, that's great. That's amazing. 
Oh, the Play Disney app. Yes, we've downloaded that. We didn't use that much last time. We're going to be doing that. Well done, oh, Zara. I don't think we used it at all. No, I, I think we figured it out in no, Paris. I and we just didn't use downloaded it, it and then they just didn't use just it. Just forgot about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. there we go. Zara's playing. The oh, two bounty hunters thing. The Magic Plus. Oh, Magic Plus. Oh, and then Magic I like, go, go all over Galaxy's Edge doing bounty hunter missions. Oh yeah. Very exciting. I'm, I really want to get a Magic Band Plus. Yes, they have had money for Christmas from my auntie, um, which I have put into the Monzo pot. So Monzo is a card that I use for when we're traveling abroad. And to be honest, it's so good. I've ended up using it in the UK as well. It feels more like a really good app developer that developed a bank rather than a bank that developed a subpart app. The reason I use it is so you don't get currency conversion fees abroad. That's, the, that's kind of what drew me to it. But I like it because it's just so great. Every time you spend something, it tells you how much you spent. It pings you and tells you what the currency conversion is and you can upload receipts and you can also put pots within Monzo so I've put, got a pot for each of the children as they make a purchase in the parks then I can take the money out of their pots um, so I have got a referral code I'm not working with or anything so it's like a private referral code if you open a Monzo then it's free to do I only use their free plan by the way um, then you get five pounds and I get five pounds but I recently converted my business account to a Monzo as well and if you open a business account then you get 50 pounds and I get 50 pounds so just full disclosure if you fancy um, checking that out Okay, I need some more Percy Pegs, Bells. Need some more Percy's. Mm. So our gate has just been announced. So let's go and find our boarding gate and get on the plane to go see Mickey. We are on board. We are on board. We've found our seats. Bella has made herself comfortable with an aqua already. The children have been given these Virgin Atlantic bags, which the thing they're most excited about inside is a poppet. It says Virgin Atlantic on it. That's really see cool. Pearl and brown. It is cool, isn't it? I think like, that's really their main that. colours. So my husband and Will are sitting just alongside. Slight difference to the, the BA plane, where there were three and the windows. There's no three in the window, so the girls and I are sitting in the middle. So there's, we're in the first row of just three, because all the other rows in front of me are fours. Yeah, um, I have just a question. Are you yeah. able to take that remote out? I would imagine so. Zara's making herself very comfy indeed. She's got a neck pillow, but also you've got your blanket out. Have you got your blanket out as well, Bells? Um, no. You're not ready for your blanket, are you? Um, I think I'm normal temperature, you're normal so temperature, I don't okay. really want to. So we have got we've got we've got this rather large we do not need all of these this rather large bag of sweets I want for take off and landing. Yeah, but I need it is for the way back too. It will be for the way back too, won't it? We are Sitting happy, down. happy, excited. Oh, well, it's currently just gone five past two, and we're due to take off at two forty. Was it two thirty-five? Two forty to two thirty-five. Hi. Oh hi, Bunny. <laughs> oh look, hi. Daddy Paul's taking a picture. But so far, so good with Virgin Atlantic. All the staff seem very lovely. Interested to see what the food is going to be like. We have got some ports in front of us, something that looks like a USB port, and then that looks like an Ethernet, like an internet port as well. Oh, I didn't notice yours was on, it's just Yeah, it's my, um, on. I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's true. Yeah, Bella's pointed out you can only see the person's screen yeah, you can in only front see of you. Until like, you. Yeah, it's got that, like, um, type of screen that is you, it looks like it's off yeah, yeah it looks not. like it's off okay so excited happy excited yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
just had some drinks round from the drinks trolley. What have you got, Bells? I have apple juice. Apple juice. So I was fast asleep, but has now just woken up. And they've brought us all sorts of snacks. So we've got these... Hold them up, Bells. So we've got these indulgent... What are they called? In, indulge Smokehouse barbecue things. But they've also brought us around this whole selection of crisps and shortbread, shortbreads, mini fingers. It all looks very yummy, Bells. Uh-huh. Belle is watching uh, Little Mermaid. I've been watching the movie Could It Be Magic, which I actually went to see in theatre last year. It was really good. I went with my auntie. How was your little sleep? Uh, it, was fine. it was It was fine. It was fine. You can go back to sleep, you know. You've not slept for very long. Do you want to go back to sleep? You're not sure? <laughs> I mean, according to my my time shift app, we should be sleeping as much as we can because if we do sleep as much as we can, then uh, we won't go to sleep after this. I think it's a good plan. I've actually got a glass. I want to try these. Try them then, but I'll try them, review them for us. I've actually got wine in a can to enjoy now, so that should help me feel sleepy. How are they? Uh, how are they? Mm, they're actually really nice. You try one. Are they delicious? Uh, 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 I got it in my microphone. crunch very tasty very tasty indeed okay i'm now going to enjoy my wine in the can so far so good though for the flight so far how are you finding it pretty good pretty good so the children's meals have just come out so we've got some fruit we've got a pit organic Strawberry and blackcurrant organic fruit juice. This looks lovely. This looks like a pot of chocolate orange goo. That would be delicious. A massive jammy dodger. And, oh, and some like, yeah, that's a dip and sticks. Ah, oh, hang on, and ketchup. So is there something else coming out? Is there something else coming out? I think that's cutlery, baby. Oh, hang on, your, ch your child's meal's actually got a meal on it. Bella's child's meal doesn't have a meal. I thought there was something a bit strange. Zara's child's meal has actually got this. That looks like chicken tenders. Is that nice? Yeah. Uh -huh. So Zara is awake and feeling a bit happier now she's got her cruise planner. You don't want any food though, do you, baby? No. You're just doing a word search. Bella, however, by contrast, She's really enjoying her meal. Really enjoying it. Bella tells me this is very good. She says she doesn't normally like sweet corn. And that's really nice sweet corn. So my adult meals have come around. They brought me another oh, white wine. Thank you very much. I've got a chicken elite casserole. A roll. What looks like a side salad. Some crackers. A portion of butter. A cute little block of cheese. And our uh, I love these little pots of chocolate for the kids and the adults. Okay, here we go with the casserole. It's kind of mash and... Mm. A bit creamy, not really to my taste if I'm honest. Um, let's go for some of this spicy stuff today. Mm, that's cold, that's better. This one's more for me. Casserole, not so much. Just not to my taste, too creamy. But you enjoyed yours? Pardon? You oh, enjoyed yeah. your food? Excellent. And Zara didn't want proper food, but he's happily eating a bread roll. I ended up swapping the salad my husband didn't want for the casserole I didn't want. So I had two salads, he had two casseroles sorted. Zara's eaten that much for bread roll. I'm now going to give this chocolate gooey pot a go. Bella, have you tried your chocolate goo pot? Oh no. Um, it looks good. It looks good, Bella. It's I have quite good. But the problem is, I used my spoon already. Oh, do you um, just want my spoon? I don't um, mind. I don't mind. Zara's asking for help with the word search she's doing <laughs> in the planner I made, and I can't find the words in the planner in the word search I made. What does that say? <laughs> so we're doing this all one-handed. Here's the chocolate pot. Here's the, the spoon. Mm. That's really good. The verdict. Drum roll, please. 
<laughs> that was with big eyes. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, it was so good. Sorry, this chocolate pot made Bella do big eyes. She was like, in a good way. Sabs. No, gosh, you won't even try the chocolate. Sorry, you're doing really well with that word search. Well done, baby. Yeah. This is the cruise version of the children's activity planner. So it's got words like atrium and just all sorts of things to do on the way there on the trip, wasn't it? She did quite a lot of the Magical Parks activities and memories book earlier. She's just started her cruise one. Can we show everyone what you've done so far? Uh, so there's a page. Oh, just you literally just started it, have you? Um, yeah, well, maybe. Okay, you've written your name. Do you think you could show me later on in the in the journey, um, a bit later on the plane trip, when you've done a bit more? Yeah. Thank you, sweetheart. And Belle's, how are you doing? Are you, you enjoying the flight? Uh-huh. Yeah. Are you, you going to try and sleep? Or? Um, I think so. Good girl. What are you watching and listening to? Um, The Little Mermaid live action. And are you enjoying that? Yeah. A good number of hours in. Still quite a lot of hours to go. Dara has gone from feeling a bit uh, less than happy, having been woken up prematurely, to living her best life. Yeah, all is, is going pretty well, all can, things considered. Yeah. Dara's just dropped something on the floor, it hit my leg. I don't know what it is. But so far, so good. We've got five hours and 40 odd minutes left of this flight. May the good vibes continue. Massive shout out, thank you to the Virgin um, Atlantic crew. I want to call them cast members. I think that's because I feel like the ethos that we've had aboard the airline today has been like a Disney cast member, which is above and beyond for customer service, really above and beyond. Cannot fault them, cannot fault them at all. They've been so, so good. And they promised the girls can go and do this thing where they go and they said have you ever worn with the vision that it blazes would you like to so they're gonna get to wear them later and go and join the crew that's gonna be so much fun i think that's the equivalent of when i was a kid you could go meet the captain obviously you can't do that now because of you know safety and since since i, I think i'm not sure if it stopped before that but obviously after 9 11 that was never a thing again but when i was a kid you could go meet the captain when they were flying the plane and I think this like going where the blazers thing it is the is the equivalent of that and about something really, really, really special. So yeah, very excited for that, aren't you girlies? Um now Zara's now doing some colouring from a colouring book about Disney quotes I was gifted in the Disney Christmas event that we went to in London. That was so much fun. This one, look, it's a Disney quotes to live your life by um book. And Bella had some pencils for her birthday. She's very excited about it. Shh, don't tell her. She's got some for her birthday too. But these are skin tone pencils. Let me show you. I was freaking out that they can't find the right skin tone to colour in any of their characters and their colours. And this was a pack of Crayola, I think, skin tone colour pencils. And they love them because all of their favourite printers and things, they can now actually like colour them accurately. I've been watching something on um, the Virgin Atlantic. I'm halfway through watching the, the um, Greatest Days movie. But then I was watching something downloaded on Disney Plus, which actually was really good. So did anyone see, what was it called? Oh, Jane the Virgin, that's what she was in. Jane the Virgin, she was brilliant. Um, and then I saw she was starring in something new on Disney Plus and it's called Not Dead Yet. I think, is that right? And she was living in America. She followed this guy to the UK to, because she was in love with him. And then it fell apart and she went back to her old job in this newspaper. And now she's writing obituaries at some paper. And she's like, oh, such a dead end job. People she's writing obituaries keep showing up as ghosts. And actually it's really good and funny in the very similar Jane the Virgin-y kind of way. So that's on Disney Plus and I've downloaded that and that's my iPad. I've been watching a bit of that. Well drinking my wine. What's that? Oh, I know what they are. 
makes it easy to keep things cool. It's the most frozen lolly ever and I guess it's practical to keep them super frozen because by the time you get to the front of the plane give them back, they're still like a normal level of frozen but I might need to like uh, thaw out a minute. A bit of normal level of frozen but it's yummy. This is this is a good um, rehydration treat isn't it? Mm -hmm. mm. I've had this for a few minutes now, it's not edible. Four hours and 27 minutes. Four hours and 27 minutes. Zara's done a Cinderella colouring kids have had their amazing look at the presents they've had look what are these these are little like virgin Mountain. engines they're so cool they're so cool uh, we put those in your virgin bag all the cabin crew have been amazing we've met a couple i'm totally in awe of two members of cabin crew are married and they work together and they don't kill each other that work. That's amazing. Mm. Let's see how they do it. Right, watch this. Oh my goodness. That's wow. <laughs> that is how they do it. They get that, dry ice. That is how our lollies are the coldest thing I've ever seen. They use dry ice. Um, how cool is that? That's that's that like cool? Maleficent, isn't it? It's like out of Fantasmic. <laughs> so we've got like three and something hours to go. Three and... I Waiting for Sky Mapper. Minutes, yeah. Three hours, 28 minutes to go. Um, um, but we've been having such a blast with the, the crew, haven't we? They're so, they're so lovely. Uh -huh. Honestly, and they've made such of us the children. It's, it's been an absolute pleasure. Bella's like, it's my favourite flight ever. It's, it has been a pleasure so far. So, three and a half hours to go. They have asked me, are we there yet? And I, I'm not even gonna lie to you, no. We're not there yet. No way Not near. even near. Well, Bella asked right me if I near. could do, can we snap my fingers like Mary Poppins? I've tried, it's not working. Zara's tried, it's not, everyone's tried. We're nearly a quarter way there. You mean yeah, we are a quarter way there. You're nearly a quarter left. Oh yeah, a quarter left. <laughs> Not a 
will do with that. That wouldn't Oops, be good. So they got so that wouldn't be good. We cannot survive if we were caught no. with that. I think I need to change all of my clocks and things. I know my phone auto updates when you land, doesn't it? But I need. I always make the mistake of not changing my cameras. I use so many different cameras when vlogging. I've got the one I'm filming on, I've got the DJI, I've got the GoPro, I've got my phone. And then I go to put the footage in, it's all out of sync, all the cameras are different. So my next job is to make all the cameras line up so that future me is not having to deal with a, a fake bean-shaped jigsaw of a mess. All the footage, future me will be glad if I change all of the time zones on all of the cameras right now. So that's what I'm gonna do. Very special. If your tyre was flat and you don't want to go and see the pilot, it's totally fine. But if you do, when you come to the door that you got on at, just I will take you straight up. like that we've arrived in Orlando. Hooray! <laughs> You've all been so good. It's been a very long flight. I know you're tired. I know you're tired. It's been a very long flight. They're very tired. They've done really well. Now to just get to the hotel. So now we've landed. We're literally the last ones off the plane. We've been gathering our stuff. The crew have been so wonderful. They said that we can go for the children to say hello, meet the pilot and have a look in the cockpit now with it. We're on the ground. How lovely is that? They've been so patient with us. <laughs> so this is your captain speaking. This is Captain Bella speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye everyone. <laughs> <laughs> level two, which is where it says on our um, holiday documents to come and be picked up. And I'm not sure which car we're supposed to be in now. I've looked at the bit of paper and I can't see any sensible information. I think I'm losing the plot a little bit at this stage. Just losing the plot. Kind of thought someone might be ranked with our names on the board. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to figure it. We'll figure it out though. We're going to figure it out. I just need to engage my brain. I'm ridiculously thirsty. <laughs> oh, right. We'll just figure this out. We'll figure it out. So we've randomly ended up on the Interconnect bus. Um, we couldn't find our driver, hadn't had a phone call, spoke to someone um, on the number on the paperwork and got cut off. <laughs> so we just came to Maze Connect, paid $78 for a one-way bus trip for five of us, all cases. 
But at least we're sitting down, aren't we, baby? We're going to be at the resort soon, hopefully. <laughs> it was so good on the flight, but it's just, <laughs> we're just um, losing the plot tight now, aren't we? <sighs> okay. Still, we're here. We're here. Tomorrow we're going to be in the Magic Kingdom. So this bit's gone a little bit squiffy, but it's still very exciting. It is feeling magical now, Zara. Why is that? Because we've got our magic bands. Magic bands. Magic bands. Zara's got a magic band. Okay, I actually feel better. Now we're on. Now we're on here. We're nearly there. They've just said that it's about between a 13 and 45 minute drive from MCO to Hotting the Buddha. What does he want? Um, I'm so tired. Um, and then with the third stop, Caribbean Beach is the third stop on the drop. So not much longer. We're almost there. Are you going to ride Space Mountain for the first time? Is that what you're very excited for? They're all being so good, aren't you? We've had some moments where everyone's been trying to lose the plot, but now everyone's just gone quiet and just eat. I just feel really dehydrated. I clearly have not hydrated, I've not drunk enough water. As soon as we go to the resort, yeah, we can do direct to room because we can use our magic bands. We can do what, Will? You can shower in the morning, yes, Will, you can. I'm not going to make you do it tonight if you don't want to. What's our name? We're having for dinner tonight. We had dinner on the plane, darling. We had food on the plane. If you're hungry, we can get you some food. Would you like a snack now? I've got snacks here. Snacks? Would you like a snack? The driver just said we're approaching what there's in the world and I went, woo! No one else did. <laughs> oh well, never mind. I'm excited, even if everyone else is too polite. Just pulled into Art of Animation. Bella and Daddy for have um, moved seats, not because he's wet himself, because it does look like he has, but because all down this side of the bus is pouring with rain. Like everyone down that side of the bus has just got soaked. So um, that's a bit random. But still, one more stop and then it's us. <laughs> then it's us, okay? Then it's us. So I've got the um, the room number and everything. We just need to find it and go put the children to bed. I feel about as nice as I look. I don't think I'm making much sense. But I'm still happy because we're in Walt Disney World. Are you happy? Yeah. Tired, but happy and ready for the magic. How wet are you, dear? Soaked. Don't pass Karen. <laughs> Pop Century, next stop, Caribbean Beach. That's us. And we can all just stay awake till we get there. Are you going to make it stay awake till we actually get there the next stop? Right. right. But yeah, no yeah. distraction, we're just going straight to the room. No distractions, straight to the room. Do you I'm mean we go to bed, go directly to bed, do not pass go, do not collect £100, well? Is that what you mean? Walt Disney World home. Yeah, also the, the, the rooms are split into different areas. So Seven like, yeah. We've just arrived here at Caribbean Beach and we're actually having a lift to our hotel room, even within the resort. Which I'm very relieved really about <laughs> because I'm exhausted. Our, no, it's not in there, it's in a separate building.
So we have arrived. This is going to be the world's quickest room tour because I am feeling as disheveled as I look. But let's take a quick look around. So this is our room at the room. Caribbean There's Beach. There's a fridge in there. There's a toilet in there. Um, There's a TV there, there, there. Good night. This Bye. is a Murphy bed. Right. If we move this bag, can we move this bag, well, please? Like, two angles. Yeah, two yeah. people's yeah. Mummy, it's so first designed to collapse like that. Well, that is... Oh, the table did need to go. Oh, and then this is My a little bed. single Murphy bed. We've got the massive Disney Resort TV. we got some drawers. We've got some more drawers. We have got a fridge. Some recycling under here. And then in here we have got... Lovely double sink, a big cupboard, extra pillow and blanket, and then in here we've got a toilet, shower, and there's Flounder and Sebastian. What do we think, guys? I love it. Who's ready for bed? <laughs> So right now we are going to sleep, but tomorrow morning we're heading into the Magic Kingdom. If you want to check out what we do on our first magical day in the parks, click on the video on screen now. Check out my Patreon if you want early release videos. I hope this is making sense because I'm so tired I can't even speak. Thanks so much for joining us with Travel Day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!